Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, an 89 degree angle, convert it to radians, and then look at its tangent. So the tangent of an 89 degree angle is 57. It's divided by million. a million. That's not going to bring much to the average. Right, so 89.9. So if you think from 0 to 90, that's roughly 100 trials. Yeah. yeah. Right, and then so now I'm doing 1,000 because I would hit this 1 out of 1,000 times 89.9. It's 572. So it gets 10 times larger. 89.99, now I would need 10,000 trials. Still getting about 10, 10 times. Getting larger. So, so but I guess there's a reason you don't hit these large, you don't hit like 201. We didn't see that at like 1,000 trials. Yeah. Because you, you can't get those big numbers. And still, you're not getting... But even this divided among a million is only going to bring you like about 0.5 increase per number. Yep. So it's still still surprising that we can see those. But I guess we're getting, when we get infinite trials, we get infinite nines. And you get a, a 0 0.5 each. This one all by itself carries a 0 0.5 is what you're saying. And yeah. I, I've, got a, I've got a bunch of these and you can see that the more trials I do, the more I get individual trials that have a weight, a, a, enough of a weight in that trial. If you're doing infinite trials, you'd get 89.999, repeating. Actually, you can't get that, that would be 90. <laughs> That's right, yeah, but you get closer and closer and closer. Really close. And you see what we saw, that the average just seems to keep creeping up a little bit. So if I go back to our prior video, and I do a, a 10,000, 10 million, sorry, now. Just let that run for a bit. So before, most of the time with 10,000, we were seeing numbers around 10. Sorry, most of the time at a million, we were seeing numbers around 10. So let's just see what happens with 10 million uh, as it runs. But this is a surprise. So this is, this is something where the actual average distance turns out to be infinite. Uh, and it's hard to see things like this when you're looking at data because you're only looking at finite samples. Yeah. But one of the clues that we were encountering a strange problem is that our samples averages Sometimes. had an extraordinarily large amount of variation. Yeah. Okay, so here we're now we're at, now with 10 million, we're at, we're, our first one we see is at 18. Hmm. Um, and that I'll, we'll do one more run at 10 million. So with, at a million, we were seeing most of the runs around 10. So with one run here, you can see how it crept up, but maybe that was just an accident, so we'll do a second run. So this is one of the, one of the difficulties when you're looking at data, is you, you always are gonna have a finite sample when you're doing your own data analysis. Uh, so you'll never have infinite amounts of data. So you will always, when you have data, have a finite average. Yeah, but if you go infinitely many, but the problem is, is not all distributions, and this is an example of one. Oh, look, it went back to 10. 10. Uh, this is an example of a distribution that actually has an infinite mean, hmm. which is really weird. So kind of conventional data formula things don't really work well at infinity. Well, yeah. So that's one of the... That's one of the tricky things about data analysis is you have to be able to understand a little bit more than just collecting data. So how much variation do you expect in, in your data? Um, a standard example uh, is, is height. Like there you don't expect a tremendous amount of variation. So we got one more 18 here. So uh, the, the tallest human being ever in the world I think was 8 foot 11. But, yeah. But if you sampled forever, you, I don't think you would ever expect to see a human being that was 100 feet tall. Why not? Yeah. Because that's it just doesn't really make not, sense. It's not really humanly possible for yeah. that to happen. It's not really humanly possible. Um, on the other hand, you have things, uh, wealth is, a, is actually a, a, a typical example for this, where there can be an enormous amount of variation. Um, you have somebody like Bill Gates, 
whose uh, whose wealth is the equivalent of like somebody probably not even being a hundred feet tall, but like you know maybe ten thousand feet tall compared to normal people. <laughs> so you have to understand the variation ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. and here we got a twelve, but at least we get a sense with ten thousand trials. We do seem to be getting uh, averages that are a little bit higher than ten, in, million, 10 million. Sorry, than, than they were at a million. So this is a neat problem and. Uh, Proving that this is an infinite mean actually um, requires calculus, uh, but but it's still fun to play around with. Hmm. Do you guys enjoy this? Yeah. yeah. Project. Yeah. It's important to important to keep things like this in mind when you're doing data analysis. All right. Good work, guys. Let's just wait for this one last 10 million run to happen and see what it says, and then we can uh, uh, go about the rest of our day. What do you think it's going to be? Bigger than 10 or less than 10? It'll be bigger than bigger. 10. Okay. 10.47. Okay. All right. Good work today, guys.